Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2021 Mitsubishi ASXLS. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota Lexus of Cairns, standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards, where we go through about 200 vehicles a month, making us the largest pre-owned vehicle department in Queensland. Across the street, we've also got parts and services just out the back of the brand new part of Toyota Lexus. And you make your way towards the city of Cairns, you'll actually come across a second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Now, as you can see, we've got quite a variety of vehicles here at our main yard, just near DFO of Cairns. And we actually got our very own showroom where we actually photograph each and every vehicle that comes through onto the yard. Now, throughout the video, I'll be going around the ASX in complete detail, just putting out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale. So I'll start down around the front, just checking out the alloy wheels making sure there's no scratching or gutter rash nice and tidy and just checking out that tire tread now that is part of the roadworthy certificate included in that driveway price here in queensland so we make our way around you're getting great reflection off the paint there this afternoon by keeping an eye out any little imperfections like a stone chip there we do like to point them out throughout the video around the front end nice and tidy though we've got another little stone chip just down here actually, it looks to be a little bit of dirt coming off actually so that will come off with the final detail. But overall, very tidy around that front end. No marking or damages. And obviously with the height of these uh, SUVs nowadays, no gutter ash or anything either. A couple of little brush touches have been done around the front part of the bonnet. Uh, to be expected being a pre-owned vehicle. But again, we do like to be transparent and point them out where we can. But as we have a look across, no big dings or dents. Down that passenger side now, nice straight body work. We'll keep covering each panel as we go. Checking out that passenger front. Again, nice and tidy. Plenty of depth in that tire as well. All right, as we make our way down, just checking things like the side mirrors for any damages even. Got your blind spot mitigation in there. We'll see them on the safety features a little bit later on in the video. And that paint just getting a great reflection all over. Yeah, you got your keyless entry and with that the push button starts and we'll also see later on but down that passenger side nice and tidy no dings dents or damages that reverse angle give a nice straight body work passenger rear again no scratching and plenty of depth in that tire as well so great to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle as we come around the back end we've got our proximity sensors We've got that built-in reverse camera as well. We'll see in action a little bit later on. And just keeping an eye out for any little markings along this rear bar. A couple of little minor chips just there. So we can get them brush touched like the front if need be. Like I said, we do like to be transparent in these videos. While we're back here though, we'll open her up, have a look inside. Just make sure the carpet and plastics are still in great condition. No big wear and tears or damages. We'll have a look underneath. Got your spare wheel, your jack, your tools. And you still got that parcel shelf. It still looks to be uh, holding together. Hasn't split through the middle or anything like that either. Beautiful, even up and around those seals. Not starting to peel or any signs of red dust or that. Down the driver's side. Again, nice straight bodywork. We'll keep covering each panel. Uh, fourth and final wheel though Again, no scratching plenty of tire tread The pearlescent paint It's been in excellent condition all the way around the vehicle Beautiful And just giving that reverse angle down that driver's side Again, nice and straight and tidy on the windscreen, just make sure there's no chips or cracks. Again, part of that roadworthy. And on the roof, no dings, dents or hail damage. And great reflection even off that spoiler on the rear there. We now make our way through the interior, making sure it's just as well looked after. So the doors, just checking for any uh, wear and tear, scratching or scuff marks. And then a couple little markings just in here. But like I said, we do like to be transparent in these videos. One little marking just down there. The carpet's still in great condition. Just checking the upholstery as well. No cuts, tears, stains, burn marks or anything like that. Still in very good condition. And same goes for that roof lining.
driver's door, obviously the most commonly used, so any wear and tear, likely shop on this one. Have a look over though, nice and tidy. No scuff marks or scratching on this one. Driver's footwell and seat still in good condition. But we'll jump in and start it up for you. So, one key push button on the left hand side. But on the right hand side of the steering uh, of the door, you got the windows, locking side mirrors, you got your electric folding side mirrors as well. Just make sure they're working. At the end of the day, they do fold in uh, when locking the vehicle also, so they're the automatic ones. All your safety feature controls basically are built in here. Your blind spot mitigation, your proximity sensors there, pre-collision, lane departure, the whole sort of works. You come up, you've got your cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You've got your auto lights, auto high beams on the indicators there. Make your way across, all to do with your Bluetooth hands free. Obviously once the phone's connected, a lot more to do. But as, as we have a look, 38,385 kilometres. We'll check that authenticity shortly with the service history for you. You make your way across, so you've got the nice large touchscreen display. Let's quickly look at the reverse camera. Right on that rear bar, you know exactly where the back of the car is. Now the ASXs, they do have a situation with the head units at the moment where the touchscreen's not working. So we'll have a bit of a play around. Right hand side's all good. Uh, the buttons along the bottom are working fine, but up in the, the top left part uh, at the moment isn't working. So that will be covered under warranty with Mitsubishi. It just needs to go to the local dealer that's going to get replaced by that saw. Make your way down, you've got all your air conditioning controls, USBs, traction control, and like most nowadays in an automatic. But up front here and on the passenger side, just as clean and tidy as the rest of the vehicle's been. No big damages, wear and tears, or imperfections, no fading, cracking, or stickiness across the dash. Again, part of that roadworthy. Making sure though we do have the books. We'll have a bit of a flick through the service history, main one people want to know about. There's first service there, I think it's 19,000 or 14. I'd likely say 19,000, and then again at 33,000 Ks. So both services have been done. Next one's not due till about 45,000, giving you a good bit of time. Last but not least though, we'll jump out, have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running. Uh, obviously make sure those services have paid off. As we have a look underneath, making sure she's nice and clean and tidy. No rust or red dust, it's not like you'd expect it in a vehicle like this. But as we listen to it run, there's no major knocks, rattles or squeals, just that motor ticking over nicely. But that was a virtual tour of our 2021 Mitsubishi ASX LS. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.